And I want to welcome you guys to the winning tips and cost saving tricks for your heat press business. So today we're covering a whole bunch of tips that are going to save you time and save you money and help you reach your goals as an apparel decorator. My name's Dave. I've been in the apparel decorating industry for almost 15 years, learned how to screen print on my kitchen table, all the way through working through several uh, commercial print shops, which then has led me here to heat applied technology, screen printed transfers at Transfer Express, and of course, digital and the cutting edge direct to film transfers in our ultra color max transfers. We're going to talk about some transfer types uh, a little bit into this, uh, but I don't want to delay because we have an action packed, uh, absolutely action packed webinar today. I'm going to stay uh, focused on a lot of what the, uh, the, the content is here because I don't want to get too off track and take up too much of your day, but I want to make sure uh, that, that we're, we're able to help you out. So uh, I will be looking at the uh, the chat section, just like Danielle from Salt Lake City, Utah in here as well. Uh, but Mike is behind the scenes in the chat section. He's another expert here at Transfer Express. More than happy to answer any questions that you may have. So there are no questions too small or too big. That's exactly what these interactive webinars are for, to help your business out. So if you have a question, please ask it. Uh, either I'll answer it, or if I can't get to it, Mike's going to. If we miss it completely by some random chance, uh, we have a habit of actually reaching out via email uh, to uh, actually answer the question. So no question left unanswered. And there's Mike in the chat right there. Uh, no question left unanswered today. We want to be able to help you out and help you reach your goals. That's what I'm all about. That is my job here to make sure that you are successful as an apparel decorator. So without further ado, uh, let's jump right into it here today. So covering our agenda, first, we're going to talk about why heat transfer. So if you're brand new to the game, maybe you are already an apparel decorator and you're just looking to build out a heat press department because you've seen some other decorators do it. I will say when people say, why have a heat press? The largest shops in the entire country. I, I've been visiting them for the heat press transformation series. They have heat presses in their shop. The largest brands, the Fanatics, the Adidas, the, the, the Adidas, the Nikes, the, all those sportswear. Uh, when you go to a stadium to see a baseball game or a hockey game, a basketball game, whatever it may be, and you're getting customized and personalized apparel there, they're decorating it with a heat press. And many of those products, even the replica jerseys, are easily produced with high return on investment with a heat press. So if you're a decorator and you're not getting on this heat press bandwagon, uh, your competitors very much are. Uh, and with the return on investment and the low cost and low barriers of entry to get into it, uh, which we're gonna cover in just a little bit more in depth, uh, that you absolutely need to be harnessing the power of this. Uh, here at Transfer Express, we make it easier than ever for anyone to get into apparel decorating uh, and support them along their journey. So you're here in a good place. And I got to say, before we jump into the rest of this agenda, I am absolutely floored by your guys' dedication. Take time out of your day to learn. You're already in the right spot and you're going to achieve success. Because if you're dedicated to hang out with me for an hour uh, and try, absorb some knowledge here, uh, you're, you're, you're already in the right mindset. Because those people who think they got everything figured out um, usually still have a lot to learn. I've been in the industry, like I mentioned, 15 years. I learned something new all the time. So I love being able to interact and engage. This is what we're here for. Um, let's go to the next on the list is choosing the best product. So we're going to choose the right transfer for the right job. Now that's going to go into some simple pricing examples where we could really break down how this could benefit you uh, and your business and especially your profit margins. So something really important to keep in mind there. Of course, to get not to gang and we're talking about gang sheets uh, so we'll get into gang sheets and how you could save money by grouping more artwork on your page for no more cost or maybe sometimes there is more cost we're going to break down uh the reasons why uh all in there we'll talk about color changes so when you need to print on some different uh the, the ink changes, essentially, when you need to print on, say, a, dark, a black shirt, and then they also have a heather gray. So you can't be printing uh, black inks on a black shirt. You're not going to be able to read it, but it's going to look great on a heather gray. So we're going to cover that, uh, how it's going to go down and how that pricing uh, is going to change with, again, a few pricing scenarios to help illustrate it. Now, if you're unfamiliar, we are going to be jumping into EasyView Online Designer at Transfer Express, uh, which is just an absolutely incredible online design program. And that's coming from a designer, somebody who went to school for uh, graphic design. And I've always had that Adobe Illustrator subscription. But I got to say, 
more times than not, I'm going now into easy view to get artwork done because it's just so efficient. It saves me so much time and I have more time to spend with my family or more time to, uh, send emails or do social media or scroll on TikTok, whatever, whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to do. Uh, I'm going to teach you how you could save some time. All this stuff today is really going to save you time and money. Uh, we're also going to talk about when speed matters. So that, that, uh, that shipping time, your turnaround times, and how you could service uh, the, the your customers in that time window. And even a fun little tidbit in there about uh, a survey we did for the rest of the industry. So you could see how you might stack up uh, with your own turnaround times. Of course, with Easy View, we're going to talk about art. So easy ways that you could streamline your artwork process uh, and possibly really set yourself apart with other competitors. So those national online competitors or maybe other apparel decorators in your industry, we're going to talk about how you could service your customers so much better and easier and faster, even if you don't know anything about design. If you didn't go to school for design, if you don't still have the student loans from design school, Okay. I'm, uh, that's me. <laughs> so I'm going to teach you how to do it. It's really, really super simple and completely free to get started. Then we're going to get into some application tips, just some brief ones. We have an entire series uh, of application tips over on our YouTube page, uh, which we release videos every single week that are built to help you out. Uh, either inspire or educate or just some helpful tips, tricks, maybe new t-shirt markets that you haven't considered. Uh, we explore all of that stuff. That's always on demand and where some of these webinars end up as replays as well. But here you get the interactivity. You're here talking with me uh, as we go. So let's just jump right into it and get going. So why use heat transfers? Well, before before I jump into this, I see Terry say black on black doesn't work at all. We were looking at doing a blackout shirt for football and wanted to try it. I will say black on black, if you're looking for that super subtle print, right, it looks sweet, right? Uh, I, I see Mike went in there said, try the metallic onyx where it gives that difference in finish too. But like if you're looking for a tone on tone and want that super subtle look, black on black, absolutely. I was saying more for like you want that same high contrast that you have black on like a, gr a light gray, heather gray shirt or a white shirt. You want that same contrast of white inks on a black shirt. Yes, then we're going to be talking about that, but we'll we'll get to that. We'll get to that when we get to that. And Terry, you could always uh, have have a uh, get a swatch book to see those ink samples in real life and hold them up on fabric to a shirt to see how it's going to look. So, because um, it all depends on like the sometimes those suede tees are a little bit more matte that like really helps that ink disappear if you're looking for like super super subtle uh, or like a dark gray is going to make it pop on it. Um, but yeah, if that's the aesthetic that you're going for, black on black, of course. It works. It adheres. It, it 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 sticks to the garment, but it's just not as that high contrast uh, of like what people are typically looking for in that for like a blackout shirt for football season or something. Right. That's going to be pretty sweet. So uh, that would be sweet. Yeah. Tim says we do black on black all the time. Looks great, depending on the logo. Yeah. So so. We'll talk about color changes. Maybe that was a bad example. You guys are are doing some really cool stuff with art. So uh, definitely, definitely don't want to derail yet or or discourage you from doing stuff like that. So, uh, but let's jump in. Why transfers, right? My favorite thing, when I was learning how to screen print, I had to burn screens in the bathroom, which meant, hey, exposing them or when I coated them, I had to let them dry. We're talking about screen printing here, which is this screen printed transfer that we see on this shirt, right? But Essentially, I had to close the bathroom doors and tell my girlfriend at the time, she still married me, so it was okay. But I say, don't go in the bathroom. I have screens drying before I expose them because I put emulsion on them, right? So it's just a huge inconvenience. You need space and room to do that too. Uh, but there's a mess of inks and then cleanup. Like when I was spraying the ink out in the bathtub with the, the spray on the shower, or uh, when I evolved a little bit, I had a sink in the basement that I put a shower curtain around so I didn't spray ink or emulsion all over the rest of the washer and dryer and everything else that was down there in the laundry room, right? So there's all of this mess, the inks, the cleanup, the setup. Uh, if you're doing multiple colors, you have to register those colors. And if you don't have a good press, sometimes that can be a really big pain, especially if you don't know how to set up artwork properly. There's just so much complication with uh, the, the traditional methods of screen printing apparel. Uh, and even if you wanted to get direct to, direct to garment printers, right? Where essentially you could have that desktop unit you feed a t-shirt into and it prints, but now you have to worry about ink lines and ink viscosities and making sure those inks don't settle and fix. Uh, you have to sp put a spray fix on the garment too. So you have to worry about all those chemicals and all of the units, and then you still need a heat press to cure that stuff. So it's just a huge, long process. There's no mess, no inks, no setup, no cleanup. 
and no maintenance, which is the best part of decorating with a heat press, right? It is a very small footprint. So that dark room and any dryers or screen printing presses is essentially condensed down to just a heat press, which you could fit in a closet. You could fit in a spare bedroom, a garage, a basement. Uh, we've seen people do, do, do heat transfers out of the back of a van, a trailer, uh, pretty much anywhere that you could fit a heat press or even on site. If you're decorating on site at an event or festival, you could easily bring a heat press. It's not like you're lugging the entire shop and you could do on-site on-demand decoration, which we're going to get into here in just a minute. But it is no bulky presses, no printers, no dryers. It is just quick and efficient t-shirt printing, regardless of the transfer type you're using. Now, the screen printed transfers we have here on this slide are the goof-proof screen printed transfers here at Transfer Express. They are my number one absolute favorite, and they are the best seller at Transfer Express for over 30 years. Plastisol ink, so they are screen printed, but they apply in just four seconds. Four seconds, and you could print a t-shirt on a heat press. Absolutely incredible. So when you're talking about quick and efficient, that's exactly where screen printed transfers come in. Of course, they're great for short, uh, short, small quantities or huge bulk, large runs. Uh, I was just talking to somebody the other day who just did 2,000 pieces on a heat press, and they were thinking about outsourcing it to a contract screen printer, but they said, you know what? I got the time. And I want to keep those profits. And man, they made a boatload in profit on that huge order. So, of course, it's easy to learn. If you're just getting started, a heat press is the most accessible way. When I was screen printing, it took me three weeks to get the emulsion right, to get the squeegee stroke right, to get the inks uh, right. And then they would dry out. They're a water-based ink. So they dried out and they started filling in on the screen. So I had to go back to the drawing board, had to get more emulsion. Like It took me three weeks before I had a retail-ready print or essentially a t-shirt that I felt comfortable with the print quality that I could sell, right? That I felt comfortable selling to people, but I was just trying to make merch for my band. It took me so long, but now with a heat press, you could be producing retail ready quality that matches what you see at Target and Walmart or wherever you buy your clothes, Old Navy, right? Any of these retailers or online stores, you can match the quality in just a couple hours of education. Uh, learnings placement is gonna be the hardest thing uh, to, to getting your transfers to look absolutely phenomenal and off the shelf in a store. So really, really great quality there. And it's very quick, right? Quick turn times. Uh, we'll talk about turn times here a little bit more in depth, but turn times start as quick as the next business day. So it's really, really quick to get in there and get your transfers uh, and then, then, then provide them to your customers. And coming up when we do talk about turn times is when I'll give you that tidbit about uh, how how the rest of the industry is going to stack up, right? Of course, with heat transfers, you could do any artwork, full color or spot color. So there are full color digital transfers. And I noticed that my head is covering a little bit of this. So, you know, there's no registration like I talked about that you have to worry about with those high color counts. And also with like screen printing, it takes a lot of effort to get some photo realistic results. With heat transfers, that's incredibly easy and incredibly affordable. Instead of having to do, say, a screen for each color or buying a direct-to-garment printer that's gonna cost $20,000, $30,000, right? You don't have to purchase all of that equipment and set yourself in that huge hole that you're working yourself out of. A minimal investment with heat transfers, right? It also makes personalization super, super easy. I talked about some of those major leagues doing the names and numbers. If you were to do that with any other print method, the setup time involved is just astronomical. Where with uh, heat presses and heat transfer stock numbers uh, and, and the express names at Transfer Express, incredibly easy to do. Even ultra color max, you could do small little names uh, to put on. Uh, the one thing that I was just, just looking about was uh, on like a shoulder strap for a duffel bag, being able to put a name on that. So personalized with colors or uh, the font, whatever you need to do, you could put it on that. And setting up a screen printing job or, I mean, direct to garment, kiss that goodbye. You're never going to be able to do that on that little tiny area. Absolutely not. You'll get head strikes and ruin your printer. Heat transfers are definitely the way to go. So that's that's fantastic. Um, I see uh, Mika says, I'm starting a kid's clothing line. We'd like to know which transfer option you would start with uh, looking at the Ultrasoft. So uh, we'll get into some transfer options because it's going to uh, make a difference based on the quantity that you need and the colors in your design for the maximum efficiency of that. I will say uh, we have a great video on our YouTube channel about decorating for children, toddler, baby uh, apparel. And you could decorate with confidence 
Everything is OCOTEC certified, which is certified to make sure there are no harmful chemicals uh, that could come in contact with children and uh, harm them in any way, as well as CPSIA compliant, which is just a little bit less strict. Of course, OCOTEC is an international standard. CPSIA is a United States standard for harmful chemicals uh, inside the inks or any of the printing, uh, as well as Nike RSL certified. So uh, everything is thumbs up. We get everything certified and want to make sure that you're not being exposed to any hazardous chemicals. Uh, fumes or anything like that while you're printing and your prints look great and they are safe to be worn uh, by by all ages right of course we talk about it's it's not good to to harm the children with chemicals but listen I don't want to harm adults with chemicals either okay I don't want to harm anybody with chemicals so we, we have those independently tested and certified to ensure uh, that they're great so uh, yeah we will be covering that in just a little bit so uh, I see uh, Teresha has a very similar question. Um, shirts are no more than two colors on white tees. The quantity will probably be what's the best transfer option. So we'll get into that in just one second. And Mike, Mike's going to have a link for you for a great chart that we'll cover uh, that's going to make deciding those really, really easy. So the next part of why transfers to is heat printing on demand. Okay. So I love this is what I love the absolute most about having a heat press. And a lot of these larger print shops that I'm visiting this is exactly how they're leveraging this. And you're going to see this as e-commerce is just on this skyrocket for apparel. Uh, we're looking at an industry report, it looked like uh, the forecast for the most, the largest impact of e-commerce has been consumer electronics and apparel. So more and more people are buying apparel online. And this makes this incredibly easy to do and super low risk because essentially you're just printing the shirt after it's sold. There is no need for bulk inventory up front to stock the shelves, right? When somebody orders a print, you, pr you, you combine the shirt and the transfer and ship it out and fulfill it. It's how a lot of Etsy decorators are, are able to efficiently and effectively turn profits because they're not spending a whole bunch of money up front. They're spending a little bit of money, set up the store, have the transfers ready to go, and then be able to fulfill those very quickly. So, Heat printing on demand is great for various products too in any quantity, right? When we're talking about those promo items, we're talking about bags or fanny packs or something like that. You could do it all on demand. You don't have to go to some uh, specialized print shop to say like, hey, I want to do these fanny packs. I don't think I could do them myself. Uh, and they're like, well, our minimum quantity is 150. And you're like, okay, I guess I'm buying 150. Or even if the minimum quantity is 24, 48, every screen printing print shop that I've worked for, the minimum quantity has been 24. I have no idea how we offer screen printing here at Transfer Express in just six quantity. Just don't know how we do it because all those screens, inks, emulsions, we handle all that mess so you don't have to, right? So small quantities or large quantities, uh, definitely uh, you get the pricing breaks when you go bulk quantities, but there's transfer types that are available with no minimum quantity. So we'll cover that in just a minute, you know? Um, I did talk about uh, shirts can be printed in just seconds. So our longest dwell time of our products that we have is 15 seconds and our shortest is four seconds. So when we're talking about quick application, we're talking quick application, most of the time it takes longer for the heat press to heat up than it does to print one shirt. But if say you're running an online store, you're doing fulfillment for a local online store in your area or some friends, family, or uh, any other creators that you've met uh, who are, who like say like a, a just a, a restaurant wants to host a store online for their employees because they don't want to take the risk saying, we don't know if we're going to have a lot of turnover uh, or if we're going to burn through all this apparel. Could we just host an online store that then you could fulfill so they could have their employees go on there and pick out certain styles uh, and then you fulfill it, right? So you could easily just be able to fulfill that. You stock some apparel in or just buy the apparel and the transfers and still ship it within a set turn time window. So really, really great. I already talked about the small footprint, right? Takes up zero space, right? I could set a heat press essentially right back here on my counter and run an apparel decorating business from right here in my office. In fact, one of the last shops that I was at, uh, an office about the size of my office here uh, was their heat printing department. And they had four or five, six heat presses in there, uh, a whole staff of people that were easy to eat, like they just could turn uh, and not really walk around. So it was super efficient, where it was just like, here's the shirt, here's the press, let's put the finished shirt over there. Uh, and they were able to just knock out tons of stuff in such a limited space. They had automated, automatic screen printing presses too, but they were out in the warehouse. You know, this huge open area, and it just takes so much, so much space with the dryers and everything. So uh, none of that 
no dryers, no equipment, just a heat press that you could fit in the corner of your bedroom or a closet even uh, and run an apparel decorating business out of that. Um, of course, if you're moving bulk volume, I will say boxes of apparel take up the largest space for any apparel decorator. Even those shops that have the, uh, the, the one shop that I worked at had 16 automatic screen printing presses at one time uh and still i think the boxes of blank apparel took up more space than all of those all of those presses so uh if you're moving that's the only thing you just got to get the shirts in and out but that's the beauty of on demand is that you don't need to stock all those huge boxes and for all that bulk run just when the shirts arrive the transfers arrive boom you print them and then everything right back out the door so it's in your shop for just a couple days so you have more room cleared out so you could do more uh, with less space, right? It is incredibly easy to train and learn. It just, uh, it's, like I said, it's the most accessible way to get started heat printing or printing t-shirts at in general is with a heat press. But also if you need to say you're, you know, you're kind of backed up, it's going into busy season now, say you get that huge order for a local school district and it's like, yeah, we need to do, or that huge candidate, right? Uh, a political candidate, uh, Teresha had said, like, you have these these big bulk needs or something like you need some friends to come on and like help you out. It's really easy to train somebody. It's not like, oh, no, hold the squeegee like this. Pull it at this speed. No, no, no. You're pushing way too hard. Oh, you're off contact set wrong. Oh, you're doing this wrong. No, it's you're at the right application temperature. Cool. Placement looks good. Awesome. Pull that lever down and print that shirt that easy. Right. And the best part of heat printing, and I save this for last when we talk about heat printing on demand and even heat printing in general is the wide breadth of products that you could decorate on. So with other digital printing methods where you could do those ones and twos, right? Uh, even some heat transfer vinyls, you're limited to like cotton shirts, right? Just can't get that, that polyester. I'm talking direct to garment too. So if you have a direct to garment printer, you know, has to be a very cotton dominant shirt. It just does not stick to polyester unless you get really expensive inks and a really expensive printer, which uh, those are, quarter of a million to half a million dollars. I don't think <laughs> I don't think anybody's looking to make that investment uh, right now unless you're running a huge uh, online store fulfillment powerhouse with some huge contracts, right? Where you're doing a lot of performance wear. But heat printing allows you the luxury to print on cotton, polyester, cotton poly blends, spandex, lycra, nylon. There's transfer types for all of it. Uh, and you're able to decorate all of that with just one piece of equipment. Direct to garment we mentioned, just cotton sublimation, right? And you're like, well, I do some sublimation. You know that sublimation is only limited to polyester. And most of the time, a very polyester dominant blends. Otherwise, it washes out of the cotton fibers, right? Uh, with that, you still need a heat press and you're limited to just light colored garments, the whites, those light blues, uh, where you're not able to decorate on dark garments. And I know like the number one probably color of t-shirt that I've printed in my past 15 years of doing this, right? Uh, is black. Black t-shirts still seem to be the absolute most popular. So uh, you can't sublimate on that. Uh, and even if there's a high polyester content, the performance wear, anything like that, it seems like all of these uh, trending apparel styles are moving into, uh, they're really moving into like the blends. So like the synthetic blends, and that's writing off a lot of these other print methods. Even those synthetic blends, depending on what plastisol ink you're using, if you're just manually screen printing or even water-based inks, the, app, the, the curing temperature is so high that you're burning the fibers when they're going through the dryer or in the, in the flash unit to cure those inks. So you're going to run into those troubles where heat transfer solves all of those problems. Any product, any way, uh, from tote bags to T-shirts, hoodies, uh, polos, and especially those polos. I see Calvin says, I love polyester. Yeah, those, those performance polos that are like 100% polyester, you look at them wrong and they'll burn up. You could decorate those with a heat press. So really, really cool stuff that you could do here. So when we're talking about, I know it was uh, Teresha and Mika, I think, uh, talking about what transfer type to use. We are here, right? So this heat transfer guide, what to use when. I'll have Mike throw a link in the chat here for this what to use when guide so that you could easily uh, go find this and download it yourself. It's also included with the welcome kit. If you just sign up for an account at transferexpress.com, we'll send you free samples. We'll send you a pricing guide. We'll send you a welcome kit. Uh, and this guide is in there as well. But it's on the website at transferexpress.com uh, that Mike will throw that, that link in there for, for this what to use when guide. So essentially, this is breaking down what you need by three main categories, okay? So the first is what quantity do you need, right? So 
How many are you printing? Is it one? Is it six? Is it 72? Is it 200, right? Essentially, that's across our top of this chart. And now that's going to go in perpetuity, right? The, the top of that chart is going to start at zero and go all the way. So just imagine that extends uh, past where I have it cut off so that you could see the text that I put on the slide here. Um, but essentially, it just goes off into perpetuity. So on the other hand, how many colors are in your design? If it's a one or two color design, you're going to have a, a, a few more options than say maybe if it's a five, six, seven color design, uh, then you're going to be limited to pretty much just two transfer types, again, depending on your quantity. So uh, the last the last variable, again, is the fabric type that you're printing on. Uh, so you're going to be guided based on your quantity and your uh, colors in your design. But to really select and hone down on the correct transfer type, you need to look at the fabric that you'll be decorating on. So don't go into that blind. Always know what, what style of apparel you're going to be printing on before you order the transfer, because otherwise you could get into some sticky situations and possibly lose some money and have to reorder transfers because you got the wrong kind. I don't want that to happen to you. So have this chart super handy. Mike's got it in the chat right here. Uh, and if you're watching this on any of the replays, we'll uh, have this linked in here uh, for, that, for that chart as well. So... Just looking at the chart here, we have CAD cut in the upper left hand corner, and this is going to be your heat transfer vinyl. Now, this is only if you have uh, uh, access to a silhouette, a Cricut, uh, a Roland, a Graph Tech, some kind of plotter cutter uh, or vinyl cutter that you could use. So then you could use heat transfer vinyl. Now, that's great for just those one pieces in really just one color. Uh, of course, if you have like two colors, maybe you could get into it. But then again, we're getting into that situation of layering. Uh, and and layering is going to take time. Time is money. So when you get to a little bit expanded quantities with that, that's definitely not something that's going to be the most efficient uh, and uh, you return on investment for your business. So heat transfer vinyl is going to have that corner up there. That's great for personalization. And when you have a customer that comes in and goes, I need this shirt for the football game uh, tomorrow for Friday, right? Because I think football season starting up here for the high school football season starting up for the majority of the country. If it hasn't even started already for you, but like, yeah, it's Thursday right now. And I need this tomorrow where heat transfer vinyl, you're able to very, very quickly turn stuff same day uh, or even next day, very, very easily, right? and do that on demand. So like you can put a name, a number, whatever personalization you want to put on that, really great. Of course, coming right down from that, now we see Ultra Color Max. Now these are the direct to film transfers. And if you've been researching anything about uh, apparel decorating, you know direct to film has absolutely changed the landscape of the way that people are looking at heat transfers because you have any color, any image. So whether it's photograph or more stylized or illustrated or spot color, you're able to reproduce that at any quantity with a digital transfer. It looks awesome. It feels awesome. It applies to cotton, polyester, cotton poly blend, spandex, and lycra. So it like has that really awesome super stretch and rebound ability uh, and just an absolutely awesome print. It's really forgiving to work with, very, very easy to get started with. And with those low barriers of entry, that's where we see a lot of people moving their uh, on-demand uh, fulfillment to because they don't need to maintain a very expensive direct-to-garment printer, but yet they could still order transfers, order apparel, they ship next business day if ordered before midnight, which we'll get into cutoff times and production turnaround here in just a minute. But essentially, then you're moving that th very quickly. You're getting them in a day or two. You're able to fulfill those in that three to five day window that is typical of all online stores or even sooner. Thanks, Amazon, for making us uh, <laughs> all of us entrepreneurs and decorators really uh, hustle to try to meet that same turnaround. But we don't have that same network that Amazon has with all those fancy trucks driving around on the road, right? It's super cool to have it, right? But maybe someday we could get there. Um, but with the direct-to-film and that Ultra Color Max transfer, it really unlocks a world of possibilities. So regardless of the colors you have in your design, realistically from one, two, or many colors. So that's if you like don't have... a uh, a cricket or a silhouette or any of those vinyl cutters, definitely Ultra Color Max is going to move into that one spot. Next in the orange here, we're talking about screen printed transfers. That's those goof proof screen printed transfers, the Plastisol ink transfers uh, that are my absolute favorite and have been the number one bestseller here at Transfer Express. You see that they take up a good portion of this chart because anything over 12 quantity is where they really are more cost effective. Now, you might've heard me mention earlier that we have a minimum quantity of just six on those, which we absolutely do. If you have a customer who says, I just need six shirts uh, and I, I want them to be one color and I love that screen printed look and feel. I want them to be screen printed. 
then you use the goof proof transfer. You understand that they're going to have to pay a premium for that. Uh, it's not going to be the most cost effective option, say, like if you were to just do ultra color max because of the minimum quantity, but you're able to still produce those at that. We want to make that option available for everybody to be able to uh, have that screen printed quality with just a heat press, right? But you can see here, uh, hopefully you could kind of see like in the details here, cotton polyester, cotton poly blends. We're looking at goof proof and hot split retro. Hot split is just a little bit softer, light hand feel on the garment. Essentially, it's taking the adhesive powder off of the goof proof inks, which just makes it a little bit more, well, goof proof. Gives it a nice wide versatility of the application envelope uh, and makes it really hard to screw up uh, if you're just getting started. A very, very forgiving transfer to work with that looks and feels absolutely awesome. Hot split requires a little bit higher temperature because we're getting rid of that adhesive powder that gives that versatility uh, of the application. Uh, but with that, you get a little bit improved hand uh, on the garment. So how the print feels. Uh, I'm wearing a woven shirt today that I can't feel the print at all. <laughs> but essentially, imagine rubbing a screen print uh, and feeling it on the garment. Hot split is just a little bit. I will say, once we improved the Goof Proof formula a couple years ago, a uh, hot split and goof proof have been incredibly close to feel uh, so much that we've printed both. And then I take them around the office and go, which one's hot split and which one's goof proof. And uh, a lot of times people can't tell. So I love my goof proof. It's just, it's just so versatile that you can't go wrong with it. But of course, for 100% polyester, say you're decorating on those replica jerseys or you got to run to do some practice jerseys for the, the local high school team or a local little peewee football team uh, that you're able to use elastoprints. So they're specifically formulated for athletic wear. So they are a little bit a uh, little bit more durable. They can hold up to that commercial laundering and the grass stains and the, uh, the, the contact of a contact sport like football, right? But those are for 100% polyester only. Uh, they really, really adhere at a lower temperature. So you get away from that scorch ability, right? So there's a whole bunch of these products that are all uh, built in here. Now, of course, when we go down to that purple section, uh, and I believe somebody was it, uh, who was it that was saying, I'm going through the chat here. Um, let's see. Oh, it was Mika uh, looking at the Ultra Color Soft. So Ultra Color Soft is going to fit fit in that purple down there with ultra color pro ultra color stretch and ultra color stretch with blockers so essentially that is a full color transfer for high quantities right ultra color max is priced by the square inch the green area priced by the square inch and doesn't have any any quantity breaks so when you start getting to higher quantities it could be quite expensive we're going to cover some some different scenarios here in just a second but essentially uh ultra color soft is going to fit that bubble right there ultra color soft is a cold peel transfer and has this super soft uh, like matte touch coating to it, like where it's just absolutely incredible for a digital transfer. Uh, however, it is a little bit more expensive at low quantities, uh, but it is available by the sheet. So we're going to get into a little bit more on that, but uh, that is the hybrid transfer. So we call digital screen printed transfers. The image is digitally created, but then the adhesive is screen printed on the back. So it's the best of both worlds where you have the quantity breaks of screen printing because of the production method of it. Uh, you still have a nice, very efficient application of a heat transfer, uh, but you do have some different options. Now, the difference is between, so Ultra Color Soft and Ultra Color Pro. Ultra Color Soft has the soft touch matte touch and feel and look to it. Ultra Color Pro is much more of a standard uh, transfer look, right? It, I wouldn't say it's glossy by any means. Uh, and it's actually quite far from like the, the cheap glossy transfers of the 1980s, you know? Um, so it does look like a very high quality decoration, but Ultra Color Pro is a hot peel. Ultra Color Soft is a cold peel transfer. So just uh, depending how it works in your efficiency and your workflow, uh, if you want the efficiency of just hot peel, or if you want the, uh, the look and feel of a cold peel transfer, uh, both of those are available. Now, Ultra Color Stretch is made for uh, the nylon. So spandex, lycra, and nylon. So if you're printing on any of those very synthetic and hard to decorate materials, uh, you're wanting to move over to Ultra Color Stretch. Uh, at those higher quantities. And if you're decorating on, say, sublimated polyester and you're worried about dye migration, might be getting very complicated for somebody just starting out, but dye migration, essentially, if you if this is a polyester shirt uh, and this has been sublimated printed, if I printed white on this, it would stay white for maybe a couple hours before it starts fading to like a light blue. If there's this pattern on my shirt, you're going to see the pattern come through in the print. That's what we call in the industry dye migration. It's essentially the dyes in the fabric kind of migrating or moving into the inks. So you have to have a dye blocker for that, which is why we have ultra color stretch with blocker. 
odds are you're never going to have to use it, right? But it is available when you do get hit with that weird request of like, hey, we have these sublimated soccer jerseys that look super cool and all over prints, but we want to put names on the back or something like that, right? We want to put the team logo right here on the front. We got a new sponsor uh, that we want to put on the left chest. Then you're going to have to use a dye blocking transfer on that. Uh, Rachel said, did you say ultra color for leggings? So yes, uh, I would stick with the ultra color line for leggings. So in lower quantities or maybe some smaller prints, uh, definitely ultra color max. Fantastic, right? The stretch, uh, I think I have an ultra color I have an Ultra Color Max transfer somewhere. Um, I, I have these planned for a little bit. <laughs> I have some samples that I've planned to pull up a little bit later when we get into these scenarios. But uh, Ultra Color Max could apply to spandex and lycra, right? So it is super, super stretchy. Uh, we have a video printing Ultra Color Max on, on some leggings. Uh, that absolutely is fantastic. Um, so if you do have larger quantities that you're doing on spandex, definitely ultra color stretch is going to be the way to go. So ultra color max for lower quantities and ultra color stretch for higher quantities. Now, don't get worried. You don't, you don't have to memorize all of this. I'm going to show you some simple tricks uh, that you could use to see which one's cheaper uh, when you have your artwork all ready to go. But essentially, let's talk about choosing the right product. So using that what to use when chart and kind of looking at those pricing comparisons, let's jump in and looking at some of this, right? Same design, different products, right? So left to right here is Ultra Color Max, Goof Proof in the middle and Ultra Color Pro. This is the shirt that I have here uh, with me, right? I have one, right? I, I'm going to bet through, even if I go full screen, right? Let me, uh, let me see if I could stop these slides uh, just for a second. So I'm full screen. Hi, ooh, I'm full screen. This is one of them, right? So I still have this shirt right here, right? I have another one right here, right? These are all different print methods. And through the camera, I'm going to bet that you cannot tell. Here, I'm going to drop this shirt in front, and I got another one right behind it. It's like magic, right? So we have all of these different print methods as well as this one that I had on my lap, right? So this one right here, I have to look very closely into it to see what they actually are. I'm going to say, I don't know. I have no idea what this one is. <laughs> I'm a pro, and I don't even know. This one is Ultra Color Pro. So this is what our Ultra Color Pro looks like. So you can see, uh, not glossy at all. I have a ring light uh, right here uh, that's lighting me up in my office for this webinar. And you can see, so we don't have any like strong, shiny glares at all on that. So Ultra Color Pro, um, this is our Goof Proof transfer. I know Goof Proof, I love my Goof Proof. So there you can see super, super matte. Uh, and it looks like a screen print, right? Looks, feels, washes and wears just like a screen print, a big tug, and look at that. I don't know if it'll focus that close up on it, but it rebounds right to where it needs to go. Same with the Ultra Color Pro, right? Go back to the Ultra Color Pro, pull on it, rebounds very, very nicely. All right there, all ready to go. Now, last but not least, let me ensure that it is. Yep, Ultra Color Max. <laughs> Ultra Color Max here for this one. Uh, and this is that great stretch, super stretch, rebound ability, uh, pops right back to where it needs to go. And you can see it is not like, uh, not super... Uh, not super shiny. It is not shiny at all. It looks very, very close and similar to that screen print. Now, all of these are printed on, I want to say, yep, this is a 50-50. So a Port & Company uh, core cotton blend is a 50-50 blend. So all of these are printed on a cotton polyester blend, right? But you see that all together on camera or even feel, I'm a pro and I have all three of these here, uh, hand feel is very, very similar to all of them. So that's one thing that you don't really have to worry about. And I found in all of my years in the printing industry here uh, that th the customers typically do not care how the T-shirt is printed. And when you start saying, oh, well, this is a digitally printed process, this is screen printed, doesn't matter to them, right? It's just in one ear, out the other. It's all just industry jargon. They don't care how the sausage is made. They just want a T-shirt, right? So that, that, that's the easiest way to put it. Make what's going to fit their budget and what's going to fit, uh, fit for them. So uh, we will continue here into some pricing scenarios, right? So you need 50 images using this Blackstone Bears as our example. That print was 11 by 6 inches. So Ultra Color Max is going to be $3.78 a piece. That's priced $0.06 cents a square inch, right? So goof proof, we're able to fit two of these designs on a sheet, which we're going to talk about gang sheeting here in a little bit. But we saw it back on one of those slides where I had the one day or day one, you decide, where essentially it's a sheet, right? A, a piece of paper with a whole bunch of prints on it, right? And anything you could fit on the sheet ships for the same price. So we could fit two of these 
on one sheet. So we only need to buy 25 sheets, not 50 quantity. We're getting 50 total images because we're buying 25 sheets and there's two on each sheet. Follow me. Um, so this is $3 and eight cents each, right? So we're cheaper than ultra color max. So for our grand total of that print cost of 154, right now, ultra color pro that's fitting three per sheet. Cause the gang sheet size is a slightly larger and we only have to buy 17 sheets but we're at $3.71 each because we're not hitting that higher quantity break of say like 25 with our goof proof because we're able to maximize the printing space on our sheet. So you can see here just the pricing difference. Now this can make, oh, and you know, this is all within a 70 cent range, which is fine. But when you start taking 70 cents to 25 quantity or 50 quantity, that's a lot of money that you're adding on to the total project, right? So that's, that's really, really hard. So Really, really big on there. Uh, Chelsea asks, what product do you choose if you have a design printed in glitter or metallic? Um, so with glitter, you are going to have to go to a specialty type transfer, which is going to be mostly HTV. Uh, so, so the heat transfer vinyls are really, really great for that. Um, however, metallic uh, goof proof is available in, I think, six or seven metallic colors. And we're looking at releasing more very soon. So um, if you're looking for a gold or a silver that actually has that like metallic flake to it, you're going to be looking at goof proof for that, but also take into consideration what uh, fabric type you're printing on, right? Because if you're printing on something that can't take that high heat, uh, you need to reconsider the transfer type that you are using. So just keep that in mind when you do that. So here we see goof proof is the winner for 50 quantity, which fits right in line with that what to use when chart that we were talking about, right? So here is our second pricing scenario. Say same exact scenario, but we just need six. Just need six shirts, right? So Ultra Color Max is going to be three dollars and seventy-eight cents each. That did not change from our fifty quantity or our six quantity. You could order one, and it's going to be three dollars and seventy cent seventy-eight cents each. So now we're at a max total for just twenty-two dollars. Goof proof is six sheets. Again, two per sheet. But we have to buy a minimum of six sheets. So we're buying 12 total images. So we're doubling it, but we are paying $109.14. So definitely Ultra Color Max is going to be the way to go right here on this one. And Ultra Color Pro, three per sheet, six sheets, a minimum of six sheets. So we have way more than we will ever need for this job, but that's great in case they need to reorder. But we're going to be paying $114 uh, in our print cost for just six. Eh, it's not necessarily the most cost effective. So you can see here, Ultra Color Max is by far the most inexpensive option where we're saving 70 bucks, right? So really great. Yeah. And uh, Mike just put in there in the chat, I saw uh, metallic colors are for goof proof, hot split or elastoprint. So when I say like, be mindful of what fabric you're printing on, uh, you can use the uh, the metallic inks for those elastoprint transfers for 100% polyester, like we were talking about in that what to use when chart, right? So we talked about gang sheets a little bit, but I want to go into a little bit more in depth and show you a great example here. So all of this spooky stuff, spooky season's coming up soon, right? And all of this artwork is able to fit on a sheet for the same exact price. So the by definition, a gang sheet is a sheet with multiple designs on each sheet. It could be the same or multi or different designs. So just like this, uh, all different designs. But say uh, that last example that we had where we were able to fit two of the same design on the sheet, it could be two of the same design and then you just order less quantity, right? Or if you had a customer who also needed 50 shirts of similar colors, they just needed yellow or something, you could put that on the same sheet as well, order that 50 quantity, and now you're doubling up your customers with, with just one print order. So you're really saving money there because you're pr pretty much charging your customer for the print cost anyway on that. So when you're an easy view online designer, which I'll show you here in just a minute, you will see a dotted line with a screen printed transfer type or those hybrid digital screen printed transfer types, the Ultra Color Pro, Ultra Color Soft, Ultra Color Stretch. Uh, you will see a dotted line with those. That denotes the sheet size. Here uh, on this example, you can see a dotted line uh, just on the edges of all that artwork. And if you can see real small up in the upper left hand corner, uh, the sheet is 11.25 inches by 14 inches. So uh, really cool great to use right there. Uh, and it's going to tell you that. So we also have jumbo sizes for goof proof, hot split and elastoprints transfers. Uh, and that is slightly larger at uh, 12 and a half by 17 and a half inches. So that gets much closer to that larger size with the ultra color pro transfers or soft or stretch, right? So we could fit possibly three images then 
all on one sheet instead of just two, if we're doing that 11 by six example. And then of course, Ultra Color Pro 11 and a half by 18, absolutely wonderfully valuable uh, for packing all of those full color images at high quantity on there. So uh, even say if you have one high quantity order and you have a customer who just needs a few pieces, of course, you could fit them on a little left chest or something easily on those gang sheets and not pay any more for print cost. Now, the best thing that I absolutely love about gang sheets is that it saves you money. It is minimizing your print cost and spreading it across to all the artwork so that is maximizing your profitability. And that's why it matters to you and your business. Uh, with screen printed transfers, of course, you wanna keep them all in the same color. So just like this sheet that we see here, uh, I believe this is our glow in the dark inks or maybe a natural, but it kind of looks that way in the uh, in the designer. So it's you can tell it's not exactly white. Um, and with that glow in the dark transfer, you can see all of the images on that sheet are the same ink color. Because as soon as you start adding ink colors, just like with screen printing, you're adding more screens now and the cost is going to go up. But the more quantity you order, the cost goes down per piece. So really, really great. So um, let's look in to gang or not to gang because screen printed transfers, gang sheet all the time, always absolutely cost saving and effective. Ultra Color Max is priced by the square inch. So while you can gang sheet, you're going to be paying for the space in between your images. So say I put just two of these Rampage Tattoo logos right next to each other, whatever space I have in the middle, I'm getting charged for uh, as a customer with that printing space. So it's much more cost effective to not gang sheet and just order individual, right? Just order individual pieces just when you need to go. So uh, that's that's going to be the best way to save money and not pay for any just blank carrier. Only pay for the inks that the inks that you're printing. Um, now with uh, Ultra Color Max, you'll know it's not a gang sheet product because there is no dotted line when you switch over to that print method, right? So uh, there is no dotted line. That means it is not a gang sheetable uh, transfer. Now you can. I still know a lot of people who are like, I just love to have everything all on one sheet because I even put like little, I'll actually print uh, what it is and the added couple cents it costs uh, per, for that extra space that I'm using uh, is is uh, perfectly fine because it helps me be more efficient when I'm cutting them out and organizing them. And then I don't have to go back and double check or anything. So I just still gang sheet them and that's perfectly fine, right? Uh, just wanna let you know if you're trying to minimize the cost as much as you can, don't gang sheet those transfers uh, here for Ultra Color Max. Now, one super, super cost saving tip is color changes. So say right here, this is a, a perfect example of a screen printed transfer gang sheet. We have two of these images, script and tail, right? That are able to fit on one gang sheet. So we could order half the quantity of sheets that we total that we need total. However, we're printing on, I'm not gonna use black on black as an example <laughs> here. Let's say we're printing on a Heather Gray with black inks, but then we're printing on a teen color navy, right? And we want it to be yellow. So we're able to actually save cost and get the bulk quantity by just ordering a color change instead of ordering uh, the the uh, individual quantities, right? So for this example, say it's 12 sheets in black ink, 12 sheets in gold ink, uh, it's 24 quantity total. So we're getting that total quantity break uh, while we're still getting 12 pieces of black ink and 12 pieces of, of just gold ink in here. So uh, it really helps minimize those costs with those gang sheets that we're talking about. So here, let's look at this example right here, um, that it is actually a two color ink change. So the only the only caveat that I wanna mention with ink changes is that uh, if every everything on the page that is that color has to change. So essentially what we're doing is just imagine that stencil for that color. So like in this case, like red, right? On the St. Paul Panthers, anything that's red needs to change to black. You can't say, well, we want the paw print to stay red because then now that's turning to a three color print when you're saying white, black, red, instead of just saying white, black, or white, red, right? So all of the inks have to change over uh, to that other ink color. Otherwise you have to split it out for uh, what we're doing. So but with this one, you can see that the paw turns to black on that red shirt version, right? So 50 total pieces on the price break. Uh, it only costs fifteen dollars total over the over the entire order uh, to order this ink change. So just a simple price breakdown here for this one, right? So four dollars and twenty two cents is what we're going to pay for fifty quantity. So that's our sheet price 
at 50 quantities. So say we're just ordering 50 of these, it's $4.22 each sheet. Now, if we were to order 25 of one in that red and white and 25 of black and white, we are going to pay $6.17 per sheet. So like $2 more per sheet. We are leaving money on the table. We're leaving profit on the table for our business, right? So even if we factor in, let's just take that $15 and add it in totally, broken over 15 pieces for that 50 quantity, right? So we're just adding $15. $15. That $4.22 becomes $4.52. Still a dollar and 25 cents cheaper, even with the color change, $15 added on to our order, right? Still a dollar and 50 cents, dollar and 75 cents cheaper uh, than if we were to order it as two separate orders. So if you have a scenario like this, be sure that you could do it. And you could also do multiple ink changes. It's not just one. It's however many you want. It's 10, right? You could have 10 as white, 10 as black, 10 as gold, 10 as radi navy, 10 as red, 10 as green, whatever you want to do. Great for little league teams, right? That are all on different colored jerseys. Uh, absolutely, you can make this happen, especially if it's like the same sponsor that sponsors the entire, uh, the entire league, right? So easiest way to do this is in the easy view online designer at transferexpress.com, right? So here's our ink change menu and you'll see it in the second step. Now, this isn't the absolute best way to show you as just a screenshot. So let's go on over to easy view online designer and check it out here ourselves. So I'm just going to pull up my easy view. Now I already have this loaded in here. And like I mentioned earlier, right? We have our dotted line for our gang sheet. I'm not going to gang sheet anything here, but I could obviously very easily uh, resize this artwork. Say I want it at that 11 inches though, um, to be that huge, nice, big, very, very large print. But all this space down here, I could put some left chests. Let's say if I just wanted to take like a portion of this, I'm just going to copy and paste this out, right? And just, just for example, I'm not going to gang sheet the whole thing, but here we could type in four inches wide and here we have uh, a, a left chest, right? So you can see that it's very, very easy to gang sheet here in the online designer. Now, all I'm going to do, I'm actually going to hide my little face because I'm covering up the bottom corner down here, right? So if I click next in the designer, it's going to take me to my option step right here. And this is where I could add a color change. So say I'm putting black inks on a background of gray, right? I'm going to add a color change. And now I'm not going to do black on black <laughs> for you guys, but let's say our background color is changing, say to, um, yeah, let's say like a, a maroon or something, right? That's not the contrast that we want. So we want to change our ink color over to white. And now we have two of these, right? We have our black ink and our white ink version. We could set our quantity. So let's just keep it simple with our 25 and 25. So we have a 50 total quantity. So now we're getting 50 total quantity. So we're at $2.69 per image at that total 50 quantity, saving money. It's also telling us exactly when our ship date's gonna be. We missed the production cutoff today. So it'll act as if this, this order was placed tomorrow, which then it's gonna ship the next business day, uh, which will be Monday. So this order shipping out Monday, but easy view is great for telling you all of this stuff right in here uh, and being able to order these ink changes. Say you change your mind and you just need to go back to one. That's fine. Dump it out. And you could just delete this one and go back into your edit menu right here. So you could see that if I take this, um, I'm just going to say this is the same artwork, but as I gang sheet to just kind of show you that gang sheet example, let's see how many I could fit on here, right? Just playing a little bit of Tetris or Jenga or whatever you want to say. It's more Tetris, Jenga. Nothing's falling down here. There's no risk of things falling down. But here you can see our print price has not changed at all. Well, it did change because we went down to 25 quantity, but we go back to that 239 for this entire sheet, right? So all of the artwork on this sheet that's printing is all available, ready for you um, with absolutely, uh, I mean, this is a live proof. This is exactly what your artwork's gonna look like. No need to mirror, no need to set anything up, no art, no nothing. Uh, this is ready to go. Say you're not ready to order, you could still just go here, click save, enter your job, and you could even select a folder. So you could create a new folder um, right here, I create new folder, add a new folder, name a new folder. Um, so say this is for Compton High School, and I'm just starting a new customer, I could save everything here all online. Now, Easy View, if you haven't played around with it, seriously, just go set up a free online account right now. We'll send you a welcome kit for absolutely 
no cost to you. You get a, a whole bunch of different transfers. You get uh, the, the what to use when chart in printed form and a price guide, along with a little idea book that shows all of the awesome pieces of artwork that are in here. But I don't want to get too ahead of myself, so we're going to go back to our presentation here. Um, let me just turn that on and um, kick back over into our presentation. So uh, that's an easy way to do it. You do it in that secondary step, and then afterwards you would click, yeah, looks good. Turn time looks good. Pricing looks good. Let's just go ahead and click it, and we're going to move right on in uh, to add it to the cart and check out. Of course, we're talking price breaks. I've talked about quantity price breaks with the screen printed transfers and those digital uh, screen print and uh, or the, the digital screen print transfers, the hybrid transfers, if you will, um, that you get the quantity breaks. So with this pricing guide, you can see it starts at six and it ends at 200 and I think 51 here. Uh, but it goes on in perpetuity. Essentially, the quantity breaks are at 6, 12, 18, 24, 36, 48, uh, and on and on and on, right? So it is um, it is definitely going to get that price break. But as you can see, the more colors then that we start adding on these charts, the more expensive it gets. So like, so for six quantity, the lowest of the lowest screen printed transfers, the, the minimum is $9 a sheet. But if we had four colors, that's actually $34 a sheet. So that's when you're going to be like, you know what? If I just need six of them, let's probably order Ultra Color Max because it's not going to be $34 in image. Uh, an entire Ultra Color Max could print up to a 22 by 22 inch area. So even a 22 by 22 inch area is $29, still less than 34. You could put photographs in there. You could put millions of colors. It doesn't matter. The sky is really the limit uh, with that on there. Uh, Terry is asking if Mike has a link to this chart. Um, and Mike, I guarantee, will link this uh, this pricing guide in there. Now, of course, I will show you too because this is really super helpful. Maybe you don't, you can't jump into Easy View Online Designer, or you're on your phone, or you're just talking to somebody uh, and just trying to get some general pricing, right? Let me pop on back over because as we talk about this pricing guide, we could pop back over to, to TransferExpress.com, and of course, we saw how the Easy View Online Designer uh, did all of that, right? So it prices it for you in the bottom based on all of your options, but all the time here at Transfer Express, you can go to this instant quote right here at the top. <clears throat> this price guide. So if we click download the price guide, oh no, I'm live streaming. It's probably not going to download. <laughs> but essentially, this is what Mike just linked into the chat. It's taking too long. I'm bouncing. I'm getting out of it. Oh, please, come on. Everything always goes a little bit slower when you're actually, uh, when you're actually, you know, presenting online. We're here. We're so close. So close, just load for me. It's gonna be so much quicker for you because you're not gonna be live streaming. Uh, but essentially the price guide is right here. It is a multi-page PDF, there it is. So you have this multi-page PDF document, exactly what we were just looking at online. Oh, here I have, uh, oh, that's the extended. That is the, the bulk. So I told you it goes on in perpetuity up to 10,000 where you could get down to 80 cents a sheet. I don't know why this page isn't loading. I hope it's loading for you guys. It's probably just because I'm streaming. There it is. So here we can see that 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 nine dollars I was talking about at six quantity, or going all the way up to thirty four thirty four dollars with four uh, colors in the design. But you can see right around. I mean, realistically, nine dollars for six. As soon as you jump to twelve, you're saving money. You're at five dollars. And a really cool feature of Easy View Online Designer is it's actually going to tell you that too. So I'm going to hide my little face here, so you can see my pricing update here in real time. Say I just say I need forty five of these prints, right? Easy view right here at the bottom is going to say you could save $18 by increasing your quantity to 48. It has it's programmed for those quantity breaks. So if you're right on the cusp there, you could say, save me money. I'm going to click this, but I want you guys to take a look at this total price right here. 132.75, right? 132.75 at 295 an image. I'm just going to click save me money and see it update to 48. And now it's at 114 at 239 per image, right? So it's saving us so much money. That's great. The system literally told us to do that we could do that. And if we go back to 45, you could see the pricing jumps right back up to 132 uh, and that 295 per image. So in easy view, you could absolutely do this. So say like we do just need this, this single image um, that you can toggle back and forth. So we say, okay, this is our screen print price at 45 quantity. It's 295 per image. Or if I go over here, Full color, that ultra color max, right? Great for full color art, but also very, very low quantities. But you can see here with ultra color max, we're at $7.14 per image. Whoo, what? For 45 of them, that's 
kind of expensive. That's 320 bucks. But if we switch on right back on over to our screen print and goof proof and we click the save me money, now we're at $2.39 per image. So we're seriously saving money and you have these tools available to you when you're designing just to toggle back and forth between those transfer types so that you could see what's going to be the most effective uh, cost wise for you. It's also aligned perfectly with that what to use when guide. Uh, so you're able to see exactly what uh, what what pricing you're looking at. This is a really super handy chart to have as well. So Mike linked it up in the chat so you could download it. But you, I also showed you exactly where you could find it all the time at transferexpress.com, especially I use it all the time when I'm just like, uh, or I didn't even go into it, man, I have to go back to the screen share because <laughs> I want to show you guys the cool costing calculator here. So right here where I clicked on download price guide, you could download that price guide. But if you can't get into easy view, or maybe you're on a mobile device, uh, or you're just talking to somebody who wants to see some quotes, or you want to try to give them a real quick quote real quick, uh, you don't let them know, number one, that you went to transferexpress.com. Don't don't tell them the secret sauce, right? So here we're going to go goof proof. And I'm just going to say I'm printing on a standard size sheet. So just like that, that order that we were just looking at in the designer, I'll say 45, uh, or let's just say 48 to hit that quantity discount. I'm at one color. I have easy prints artwork. I could click calculate and it's going to tell me $2.39 per image, right? 48 quantity and my total cost. This matches even order by tomorrow at noon and it's going to ship Monday, right? So this is telling me exactly what the online designer told me, the same exact pricing logic with the same scenarios with the gang sheet size, everything like that. Say like uh, you want to go to full color, we could say even ultra color max. I don't know what size that was, but we need uh, 48 images. It was 11 by, I don't know, I'm going to guess here and say it was 11 by 10. We'll calculate. And oh, I was probably close because it's $6.60 per image. That's a whole bunch of money. Uh, but this one, we're going to talk about cutoff times, right? That this one's actually going to ship out tomorrow because we are not past production cutoff. But we got to go back to the slides for that, right? We got to go back to the slides to see uh, <laughs> to see more as we go through. But you can see there is all of these resources available for you so that you could choose the most cost-effective transfer type uh, for your business. Of course, when we talk about price breaks, we just covered them, that little arrow pointing down there. I knew it was coming up soon, um, but essentially you need 136, uh, but you could bump up to that 144 and save a boatload of money with buying more. You're getting more prints, which is always great. I love having them on hand because like I mentioned earlier, you do that big bulk run, right? You do the whole uh, uh, chess team or the chess club or whatever. And then there was the one kid or two kids who were like, I missed the order form or like, I didn't really want one until I saw them in person. Could I still get one? And then you have transfers left over and you're like, yeah, sure. You could charge them, not the bulk rate and be like, ah, you could have bought it with the, with the bulk rate for, you know, whatever, 20 bucks. But now I have to charge you 25. Are you okay with that? And in most cases, when somebody really wants it, they're like, I'll pay anything. I'll give you a hundred bucks. Right. So uh, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to, to, to charge whatever margin you want. And it's going to be zero print cost. It's just your time and the apparel cost to print that item. You've already paid for the transfers. Right. So really, really cost effective to have those extra ones. And also I like having them to test whenever you get a weird request where somebody's like, I want this really cool, trendy t-shirt. And it's, you know, uh, cotton polyester and like, yeah, maybe spandex blend that you're like, I've never printed on this before. Let me test it. Now you have transfers that you could store to, to be able to test those. Now transfers store incredibly well. There's a video over on the Transfer Express YouTube page where we actually pressed a 10 year old transfer and it sat in a filing cabinet in a climate controlled environment uh, for 10 years, uh, untouched. We pulled it out, applied it directly to the application instructions. It uh, looked great. We threw it in the washer a few times and it stayed absolutely flawless. So no worries at all when stored properly. You want to keep them out of uh, temperature swings, the heat, the moisture, humidity, uh, and definitely just make sure that they're like in an, in an air conditioned or heated office uh, that stays at the same relative temperature, no huge humidity swings, um, and just a nice stable away from sunlight locked away. And they're going to last uh, for a long time for you. So um, this is really cool. And this is a huge example when we go from 136 to 144, where we could save $31, where our example was just saving us 18 But still, a ton of money that you could be saving, passing those savings on to your customer or 
padding your pocket with some profit, right? Really, really cool stuff to do. So let's talk about speed. I got to call out Anna Martin right here. Uh, she she does drive the Transfer Express, the Stalls Transfer Express car here at a local Oval Speedway. Um, 13 years old, and she's absolutely killing it. I think she's a better driver than I am. <laughs> but this is some T-shirts that we did for her. Um, but just like we kind of saw when I was doing that pricing calculator, let's talk about the magic of 12. Ultra Color Max ships next day when ordered before midnight Eastern, which we are right now before midnight Eastern. So you saw that order shipping out on Friday, which is tomorrow. We are This is Thursday today right now. Um, and so this order would ship out Friday. If we were ordering screen printed transfers, if we would have placed that order before noon today, this is the power of the 12s. If we would have placed that order before noon today, it would ship out tomorrow. But since it's afternoon, it's currently, what, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, on a Thursday afternoon, it's going to count as if we placed it tomorrow before production cut off. So then that order is shipping the next business day on Monday. All one color screen print orders ship next business day. All ultra color max orders when ordered before midnight, 1159, if you want to be exact, uh, all orders placed before 1159 uh, will go the next business day as well. Uh, it has been busy season and we have been absolutely jamming. Uh, so we are working over the weekend to ensure uh, that orders are leaving here on time. So I'm going to hide my little face because this is the cool tidbit that I wanted to say, right? Uh, multicolor, of course, I, don't, I talked about max and one color screen prints, but two color screen prints or any additional colors uh, will ship in two days when ordered before noon. So noon is your screen printing cutoff and your hybrid transfer cutoff where your ultra color max direct to film cutoff is midnight. So really, really cool. You could get those orders in a little bit later uh, and still receive them next day. Super, super uh, lightning fast, let's say. We had a lot of lightning here uh, last night. But um, a recent survey that we just did pulled the industry. I believe it was almost 900 uh, survey applicants that we talked to who are apparel decorators all across the country uh, from varying sizes, not not too many small ones, but like, let's say small midsize to uh, commercial decorators, right? There are some, some, uh, some outliers there who are just absolutely killing it with home-based businesses that we included as well. But if you could deliver your products in four to seven days, you're going to be delivering faster than 68% of the industry four to seven days. So when we look at it through the lens of Amazon, we're like, it needs to be here in two days or less. Custom apparel just doesn't work that way. And if you go to say custom ink right now, their standard turn time is two weeks. And that's really where a lot of apparel decorators are at with turn time. So when a lot of people say like, I don't, I, I just, the market's so saturated with other printers, look at how you could stand out. Is it your turn time? Where they're going to say, ah, two weeks, or we're going to charge a huge rush fee. And you're like, no, nah, my standard turnaround time is seven business days. And they're like, wait, you're cutting the competitor in half. And you're like, yes, I am cutting the competitor in half. Oh, by the way, by using some of these design tools that we're about to talk about, you could offer design services for free. Where no other, no other printer in the world is doing that, right? But you have the efficient tools of the Easy View Online Designer and the entire Easy Prints artwork catalog that I'll show you here in just a minute, uh, that's going to be able to get you uh, the capabilities to be able to efficiently do that at a scalable uh, you know, volume. So it's not just like you're going to spend a whole bunch of time on one customer and you're able to produce that. And that's something that's really going to stand you apart. So look at these differentiators. If it's turn time, if it's service, if it's they might not decorate on poly, like, nah, it's not even worth our time. We're not going to do it. It's worth your time then, right? So whatever your audience is, always focus on the needs of your target audience. Uh, and you're going to have success right there, bar none. So um, really, really cool. And uh, yes, so the art. I talked about Easy Prints art, right? Easy Prints is all of that artwork that I kind of teased when we were showing the Easy View Online Designer. There are 7,000 pieces of customizable layouts, just like the one that I was looking at, right? That uh, that Compton High School Athletic Department. We could easily double click on any of that and change anything that we want, right? So we could go in and change the artwork or change the text or change the fonts or whatever we want it to be, right? 10,000 pieces of customizable clip art in both single color and full color. So spot color for screen printed transfers or full color. If you want a flaming baseball, 
we got it in there, right? So all of this artwork is loaded in there, most likely something that you're going to find. We also have an entire team of designers adding new art weekly. We just published a whole bunch of new layouts for marching bands uh, and some back to school stuff. So always new trending artwork. We're following the trends. We're keeping our eyes open of what's popular on Etsy or seeing uh, the shelves at Old Navy or Target or wherever we buy apparel. Uh, we are always on the lookout for new artwork and we take requests too. If you're, we just had one the other day where someone was like, there's not enough ATV artwork. And what is the, uh, <clears throat> what's the design team working on this week? ATVs, side by sides. So just ask if you don't see something in there. Emma asked, do you have a size chart for image based on shirt size? We absolutely do. Um, I, I'm going to task Mike to try to find that one uh, and pull it up. But we do have uh, um, a great size comparison for like different logo sizes. Um, but <clears throat> Emma, I will say 99.9% uh, .9 of the industry uh, prints the same size regardless of what shirt size it is, uh, for, like for adults, right? So from extra small to uh, extra small all the way up to uh, 2XL, I printed the same logo on those shirts, hung them all up side by side. They look absolutely fantastic. You know what's worse is when you have a team or you have like a family reunion or like a group of people who all get together to take pictures with their matching shirts on and then the logos are all different sized. Yeah, it doesn't look that good. It takes a lot of time and a lot of setup to organize printing different sizes on different shirts. Uh, for screen printers that, it, you know, in the typical realm of what I've done, uh, screen printers, they're not burning screens for different sizes of shirts. It's 11 inches wide and 11 inches wide looks absolutely fantastic on extra small all the way up to uh, three, four X. It looks fine, right? Because people get wider. I'm not the smallest guy, but you can see that like I'm wider, right? So I, I'm deep. <laughs> I'm a little, I'm not necessarily wider too much this way. I'm definitely much more wider this way um, because of all the food I eat, right? <laughs> but so that 11 inches wide is going to look very similarly on me. When you lay all those t-shirts flat, you're like, wow, that's a lot of extra fabric, but it's the fabric here on my side, right? So the front of me very much is 11 inches. 11 inches on me is like, is right here, right? So it is a nice full front. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit of jokes in here, but essentially uh, that's the way that human bodies are, are, are shaped. If you really start to get into it, I am not a doctor. I did not study anatomy, but man, human shapes are just so weird. If you ever notice, like uh, on t-shirts, you see it all the time, right? The, the collar of the, the front side kind of comes down in front. If you just lay it flat, that you could see the inside or the inside of the back of the shirt, right? It's because our heads come off the front of our bodies. The back of our neck is straight up and down, but the front of our neck comes off the front of our bodies. It's weird. We are weird shaped things. And when you really start, it's like when you look at a word too much and you're like, man, I don't even know what this word means anymore. It's the same way. Don't look at t-shirts too much. <laughs> if they're slightly off crooked, you don't stress about it because that efficiency is slowing you down and you're not as profitable as what you should be. Now, uh, how, you know, maybe if you're in the military, you stand up nice, straight, proper, right? Pinned, uh, shoulder to back, head up, you know, most people are slouching probably this entire time. If you go back and watch the replay of this webinar, I'm like slouching the entire time. I'm crooked. Okay. My body's crooked. If the t-shirt's sewn a little weird or, uh, if the print's slightly off, uh, especially if it's within, uh, like a half inch, uh, is a, a quarter inch to a eighth inch, quarter inch, half inch. There's usually a tolerance uh, for many screen printers who say like, ah, that's in our tolerance, right? Uh, and so it's just because things are going to move and you need to operate at the efficiency of what it makes sense for your business. Of course, don't be misprinting shirts. And we're about to get into some tips that are going to help you not misprint shirts, right? So um, yes. So uh, Teresha asked like, what about sizing for 3XL, 6XL? I do the same. Do whatever you're printing on all the others. Uh, of course, if you're doing like 6XL uh, on the same run as like extra smalls, yes, use 11 inches or 10 inches or something that's going to look great on all of those sizes. Now, say you're just printing on uh, a run from uh, mediums up to 6X, then yeah, size for that design. Size accordingly for like the, the, the smallest on the order and the largest on your order. Uh, youth sizes is typically where you'll see that difference. So youth, you're not going to go any larger than nine inches. And nine inches on a 4X shirt is going to look pretty small, right? Nine inches on me is probably right about here. If I said 11 inches is out here, right? Nine inches on me is going to be right about here. I wear an extra large shirt. So 
that's already getting kind of small. But nine inches on a kid's shirt is going to be the full, <laughs> full, full front on it, right? So when we talk about the art, I, I do want to talk about the idea book, right? So this is full of, I call it the greatest hits, right? It's like the Fleetwood Mac greatest hits. But instead of that coming out in 1996, we release a new idea book with the greatest hits every single year new, relevant, trending artwork. So you don't have to do all the research that our design team does. We do the work for you. And then this is the marketing that you could take to your customers and show them your capabilities. So as we go through this, just tells you a little bit of getting started, tells you some ink colors in the designs, uh, and then some basic patterns that are available in here. And now we get into these color coded uh, sides here. So uh, let me just, uh, I'm going to stop the slideshow. Um, so I could go full screen, right? So you can see this idea book right here, school on the side. And these are all t-shirt layouts, right? So let's just do, um, you know, we could browse through here. Uh, you can see tons of pages. So say you're only going to pitch somebody on sports. It's on a binder. You could clip out anything else and just keep sports in here, right? So just sports. So uh, let's see if we can find uh, something, something nice and generic that we could run for a quick example before we wrap everything up today. So sports, um, right? Sports, sports, sports. Let's say, let's do, see, this is exactly what customers do, right? I've been in the design game long enough that people are like, well, it's, uh, you know, I, just, I don't know what I want, but I'll know when I see it, right? St. Netflix. You're not going to, you can't just browse artwork. I'm not going to throw a whole bunch of stuff together. It's going to take me two hours and I'm pretty proficient in illustrator, right? Uh, so I could take something together and throw it together, right? So here, perfect. This one right here, Eagles, right? So in our idea book, our customers thumbing through this and they're like, oh, cool. That's great. Yeah. I like that. Mm, I don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's going to be the one, right? Eagles right here, but it's football season, not baseball season. So you see, there's a code right here at the bottom. Might be really hard to read. I know it's hard for me to read because my screen, for me at least, is mirrored. So let's head on over to Easy Online Designer and get started uh, with this layout. So I'm going to delete this and just start fresh right here. So let's look at that one. It is uh, QBA344. So this is how you could offer design services without being a designer to your customers and really stand out as that competitive advantage. I'm going to go here to add layout over here on the left-hand side. I'm going to click add layout and I'm going to type that in. So just here in the search bar and here, if you don't have the idea book, right? All of these. So we could see, we could browse all of this. So we could see bestsellers. We could go to sports, look at our bestsellers. Uh, I'm in the sports baseball, softball. So clicking right here and we might even be able to find this layout that I was just referencing. Yep. There it is right there, QBA344. So very similar because we do bubble up the top performers and the brand new ones, what's what's trending, what's relevant, and what we just made. I think this one was brand new this year with the, with the Mitt. Uh, there was a little like hot dog guy that was brand new too that I absolutely loved. But say we just want to search. We could search QBA because our customer said that's the layout that I want. And we could go here, QBA344 pull it in and now it's going to pull into our artboard. Now you could do this in front of your customers if you want to. I know a lot of people are like design in front of a customer. No. So up here we could just click settings and I'm going to click customer mode, right? So now it hides the transfer express logo up here. And of course, if we went full screen, you don't even see the URL at the top here. So I'll just click full screen. Boom. Now they don't know this exists. And if I hide my little head, it doesn't show the pricing or turn times anymore, right? but we could still save this order. So say this customer comes in here, they say, I want footballs, right? So we just delete that. I'm gonna go in here into clip art and let me say football, right? Just typing in football. Ooh, I like that one. Look how subtle that looks. That looks pretty cool. Um, and we could just go down. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use this one, but you can see all, when I talk about, there's a lot of art in here. There's a ton of artwork in here. Ooh, that one's cool too, right? Right. There's a lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool football players in here. Hey, that kind of looks like a, a helmet for a, a team that I like. Uh, <laughs> so essentially, let's just say let's grab this one. Right. So now we're going to pull it in. We'll pull this right on over top. And now we're customizing this. And it's not the Eagles. Let's say it's uh, a Panthers. Right. So all I did was double click here. Panthers. Boom, set that up. If I want to change this text and kind of like stretch it or even adjust the letter spacing in it, I absolutely can. But we're going to set that one just like, let's go one more. Oh, 
one more the opposite direction. I'm just going to resize this here. Click Panthers. Here, let's grab this one, and we'll just set this football to be right here. And boom. Now, I've completely customized that layout for that customer, and I could even say, oh, yeah, you guys want some, some different stuff too? Here, I'll go in here and pull, hey, just this football, right? So you could pull whatever you want, gang sheet it all together, save this out for your customer. And then when you get home, you could go in here and say, oh yeah, I want to uh, uh, I want to switch back to my design mode, get the Transfer Express logo back. We can see how much our project is going to cost at whatever quantity we're going to save it to and pull it all right up and in. Um, I got to say, it is just so incredibly easy to be able to do anything in here in the online designer. So if we just go back to sports and bestsellers um, or schools and bestsellers, uh, one of my favorites is like this one here, right? So same thing, Wildcats, we could just say Panthers. Click that in, that changes here. Let's change this one to, I don't know, Ridge City. I'm just making stuff up now. But essentially, that looks a little far spaced apart. Part and whoop, oh, that's not Ridge, but let's just say Ridge, Ridge City, right? We got all that in there. I don't like that font. I want it to be a little bit thicker. So, ooh, Aardvark looks good. That's going to beef that up, but I want it even beefier. So here, we're adjusting that. Now it's nice and beefy. We could change this. That's not a Panther. So just replace the clip art, click clip art. Let's search a Panther pulling a mascot now you could also upload your own mascot here into the design program if your customer says no we have a mascot that looks like this or something you could upload it into the designer i'm just going to use one right here click this panther and boom let me make this little let's make this guy a little bit smaller so he's not hanging off the edge have them overlap uh even stuff like this like outline add an outline right here uh, i'm just going to bulk this up but i want this to knock out to the shirt color i just want the panthers to be a little bit more border around them right boom and see now he's covering up the River City. You could grab River City, arrange, and pull it to the top. You see how powerful this designer is. And now Ridge City's on the top. It's not going to get knocked out by that outline knocking out the text underneath. Want to change the color? Sure. We'll just grab all of our ink here. We could say let's change it to burgundy because we're going to be printing on a I don't know, soft pink shirt, right? Oh, that actually looks pretty sweet. Definitely not Panthers colors, but uh, looks pretty sweet, right? So you're able to do all this so easily, so cost effectively, all right here in the designer. So I just took uh, from a customer idea now to a full-fledged design that I'm able to fit two up on a gang sheet. I would definitely need to probably just swap this to have a little bit more room. There we go. A little bit more channel here so I could cut this out very easily. But I know at, yeah, 548 quantity, I'm paying $2.39 an image and all set good to go. So super easy, so super simple. Um, and this really empowers you to be a, uh, a powerhouse of a decorator, even if you're just getting started. You have all of these capabilities that are available right here in this idea book. Now, the best part is that there's artwork in the back. Of course, all of these different markets that we just touched on, we just pretty much stayed in sports. But here, on the cover, when you purchase this as part of the marketing kit, this is customized to your business name. So this is you. You see it says idea book, right? There's no Transfer Express branding on this. Your business name is going to be on this. Say you just want to print out your own uh, business logo and slide it into this book. You absolutely can. You have this binder full of these capabilities that you could sit down and pitch to your customer. And it makes you look like a million dollar print shop, even if you're just getting started. So that's part of the marketing kit. Comes with a whole bunch of display samples too. Um, I haven't looked at the chat here in a section in a second because I've been uh, doing all this stuff. Um, but essentially, uh, Mike could throw a link in there to the marketing kit, uh, and it is absolutely worth the price. You get a whole bunch of full size display transfers, so you could have a traveling showroom, and you get that idea book, which is that greatest hits catalog, and truly unlocks the potential with customers because then you could just you could have them show that right there. In, in person, have them sit down in your showroom where you go visit them at their school uh, or at the, at the, uh, you know, the stadium, if it's a football team or something like that, or even a local business, landscapers, just pull it out. Hey, you guys see something that you want here? Sometimes it's as easy as like, oh yeah, we have our logo. Let me send it to you. Perfect. But a lot of times people say, I don't know what I want on the shirt. You're the pro. And then you mock something up and then they go, ah, uh, no, I was actually thinking something more like this. And then you, they send you a screenshot from Pinterest or Google and you're like, man, I just wasted so much time. And in a lot of those cases, those smaller orders, they go, I don't really know what I want, but 
you know, what am I going to like, you're, you're the expert, just do it. Um, that you could knock it out of the park here with them with very, very simple artwork, very, very quickly. How fast did I just throw two designs together? Very, very easily through all of those different scenarios. Very easy. Um, Rachel asked, what if you have a special font and it's not listed in the font library? So there are 250 fonts uh, and growing in the easy view font library. Uh, but if it is a specialty font, you could use it in another program and import it in uh, as a vector format if you wanted to. Um, you'll most likely be able to find something close or similar, um, but exact fonts, if somebody's particular about it, just have them send it over in their logo or whatever it may be. Uh, and you're able to import that in there. Um, of course, uh, for the uh, those fonts too, if you have a specific font, uh, let us know. Just, uh, just, just email info at transferexpress.com and say, hey, is there any way that you guys could add this font? And if we can't add that font exactly, we might be able to find a similar one. Uh, and bring it in for you to, to be used uh, just from our font supplier, our type foundry, as the designers call it, right? I'm a designer. I could call it that. Um, Teresa says, uh, Teresha uh, says, should we purchase the marketing kit every year for new designs? So that is definitely one benefit of picking up a brand new marketing kit is that there are brand new designs uh, that come out every single year. We actually go through and use the data of what's been ordered. Uh, to, re to remove layouts uh, and designs from that book and bring new ones up uh, that are in. So you just need to, to be sure that you are, are up to date. The biggest thing is the display samples. So that traveling showroom, even if you do have a real showroom, uh, essentially it comes with, I think right now it's uh, 20. Don't quote me on that, but it's I think it's 20 full-size gang sheets of samples uh, that look like real customers. So even if you have never printed, a, you never actually got a customer before, you could use this display sample to say like, hey, look at all these shirts I've printed. Look at the different quality of, of inks that I have available and the services. Uh, yeah, touch and feel them, whatever you want, you know, and be able to show people that and they look professionally designed. They're designed from Easy View. There are layouts in every single one of them is a layout in Easy View, right? So there's all of this stuff and then it's so super simple, so super easy to be able to use. Uh, and then you get that. Uh, uh, and Linda says, is there a way to filter to see new designs that were added? So in the designer, there is a, uh, if you click layouts, it is a promo, but also just check our blog. So uh, on social media, if you're not already following us on social media every week, we say, hey, these are the new layouts releasing. Um, and we do have new layouts coming all the time. Uh, so we publish them all on our blog, show you them, show you them used and customized, uh, as well as in the promo. If you click on add layouts and click on promo, there will be the new ones in there as well. Um, Chris, uh, Chris, Kirsten says, uh, the oh, you're talking about the trucks, those farm style pickup trucks that are popular. People have the old red truck with Christmas tree in the back. You know what I'm talking about? And she just typed in farm, she typed in truck and saw it. Yeah, <laughs> those are in there. They are incredibly super popular. Um, for those back on over to easy view that's here. So yeah, promo layouts here are the promo ones. So that one that we showed with, uh, Anna, uh, the, our race car driver, uh, we did make a layout inspired by her. Uh, and that's this one. we did swap the car out for her car, but that's one of the ones that just recently came out too. Of course, if we go over to school, um, you know, and we could say, um, banned or new for 2023. There's new filters in here too. So I'm streaming. Of course, I'm going to break this thing by, by streaming this all out. So, but yeah, you can see occasions new for 2023 loading up. Of course, it runs so much faster for you at home when you're not live streaming to the internet as well. Uh, so yeah, a little tailgate there. But if we go and say clip art and let's type in truck to show everybody that trendy truck that everybody's talking about, um, right? It should be here somewhere. Of course, right there. Boom. Hey, there's the one with pumpkins in the back. Just import it right in. But yeah, that nice little trendy truck, the farm truck with some pumpkins in the back or a Christmas tree in the back. Yes, they are all right here in the online designer, all set, ready to go and, uh, and easy to use. Let's cover some application tips and we're going to wrap this thing up here is with hoodies. The one thing that's going to save you so much time and frustration, uh, especially with any applications, is just making sure you don't have any hoods or uh, pockets, the kangaroo pocket on the front, those seams could really affect the pressure of your heat press and lead to some frustrating applications like, why isn't this applying? It just applied fine to the t-shirts. What's going on? So the best thing to do is raise the print area uh, using a mouse pad. 
a smaller platen if you have a Hotronics press that has those interchangeable platens that's so super convenient, um, or any silicone printing pads. You can pick them up on Amazon. Uh, our favorite is the mouse pads, the blank sublimation mouse pads, because they're super cheap. And so if you need like something super small, say to print on like uh, just a sleeve or like on the inside of a pocket, you could cut that mouse pad up uh, and not cry because sometimes those silicone printing pads could be like 40 or 50 bucks and it hurts when you start cutting into them. A mouse pad is like two bucks, right? So you'd easily just cut it up, cut it into the small little areas to raise those printing areas. Um, also, we see it all the time on like watching videos of people printing t-shirts on TikTok, the hoodie strings. Just <laughs> get them off of the printing area. There was one time I saw somebody print over top the hoodie strings and then they pull the transfer, the transfer, you know, the, the carrier sheet, they pull it, it moves the strings, it rips the design and then it just looks bad. And they wasted a hoodie. So just make sure all of those obstructions are off of the printing surface. Um, of course, when you're regularly printing stuff, if it's very linty, if you see visible fuzz on it, get that fuzz off. Because a lot of times, uh, you know, with transfers, it's great because it'll just mat that fuzz down. It glues it down uh, with the adhesives of the transfer that are coming down. You're never going to have any problems with that coming up. Um, but like with screen printing and stuff, that little fuzz, because you're putting link liquid ink down, uh, that as soon as that fuzz falls off, uh, there, you have a... a a distress, let's say, <laughs> right? Your your design is distressed. So just make sure um, most of the time with heat transfers, uh, we see a lot of people like lint rolling like they do with like sublimation and stuff. Don't really need to do that because most of the heat transfers, the screen printed heat transfers, the digital heat transfers are going to mat all that down and it's not affecting the durability at all of that print. Unless it's like dog hair, cat hair, like super, super linty. Occasionally you'll see a little fuzz and I'll pick it off right before I put the transfer down, but you don't have to worry about stuff like that. Of course, left chest, I'm gonna hide my little face here too so that you can see this uh, nice application ruler, right? Uh, so polos, uh, you're often going to uh, have some problems, again, with buttons or those collars because you wanna get those off the printing area. So that's really where a mouse pad is going to come in again. Uh, it's because if you're going to hit those, like this guy right here, wearing uh, this this golf polo, I almost could guarantee those buttons are plastic. As soon as those hit the heat of a heat press, they're melting. And then you're taking that really nice, expensive, maybe $20 blank polo, uh, and you're essentially ruining it. So you definitely don't want to do that. Um, raise the print area, get those buttons out of the way, and make sure the placement is spot on. I love that application ruler. You can see down there at the bottom uh, of the slide here. It's marked for left chest and right chest as well as a center line. So align it to the collar and it's going to get you in a really good spot for a left chest print. Works really great on uh, on the uh, on the, the crew neck, uh, but it'll even work good on polos. Just button it all the way up. Uh, for polos, it's kind of varies because you can't judge on the buttons. So I usually button it all the way up. Do about four fingers down to the top of the graphic. And that's going to get you in a ballpark range right where we see this great left chest print. So we also see, I, I saw a question come through about like, uh, is it three inches down from collar or three fingers down from collar on a tank top? That really depends on the tank top. And I'm going to say you're going to go on almost any tank top, you're going to go much higher than a standard placement just because those tank tops already have a pretty deep scoop neck to them uh, in the first place. So you definitely want to be up with that. Um Let's see, Emma says, yep, done that. I think Emma's uh, had some same experiences as me with some polos or baby onesies, stuff like that too. Oh, those little plastic buttons, you look at them wrong and they just start melting. So you want to make sure those are definitely off the press. Um, Tracy said, you mentioned traveling with a heat press. What's the press? Aren't they heavy? And what generator do you need? So uh, we've done actually a lot of on-site printing and events with a Hotronics Auto Clam. It's one of my favorites. If you have it coupled with the Caddy Stand, incredibly easy to just wheel around uh, or carry around with a friend. Uh, usually you have like a little dolly, a little cart or something. So you can just pick it up out of the car with a friend and place it down. So I like the auto clam. Uh, we have the craft press, uh, which is the little pink craft press. Great. It's a nine by 12 printing area. So it's perfectly uh, more, it's capable enough uh, to print on a whole bunch of stuff, but then you're going to be able to, uh, to bring that anywhere. And pretty much just like one, I could one arm it. Uh, but you definitely don't want to hurt yourself carrying around. I do think it's still like 25 or 30 pounds. Um, but yeah, those smaller presses definitely really help out. But I love the auto clam. It auto opens. It's super efficient. Um, and if you are coming to the Impressions Expo, you will see the auto clam on site live printing. Um, of course, you want to make sure it has a dedicated 15 amp outlet on it because you don't want to be turning the lights off on anybody. If you're, you know, printing for that uh, baseball tournament and you uh, 
kill the breaker <laughs> and the stadium lights turn off. Right. And everybody looks at you like, what are you doing? And then you're not able to print shirts while that power's out. So um, getting a generator is good. There are some good requirements. We have them all listed out uh, in the printing on site video where they're ones to look for, but really it depends on what your budget is uh, and how much you're going to use it. Cause I really recommend going to home Depot, at least the home depots and Lowe's around here, any hardware stores uh, rent those tools and rent generators. So if you're doing just like a one-off or like you're just going for a weekend, rent a generator from them. It's going to be a fraction of the price and you're going to be able to get a way nicer and more powerful generator. You always want to get an inverter one, but a way more powerful and nicer generator than what you could probably that you want to allocate some budget for. So, um, yeah. So the expo, uh, Fort Worth is in Fort Worth, Texas. It's the impressions expo. I will be there personally. So if you do happen to come, come see me. Come see me. I'll be doing the education on the 13th. So that's the uh, heat press fundamentals and then the stalls pro day on the 13th. Uh, but it is September 13th through the 16th in Fort Worth, Texas at the Fort Worth Convention Center. Tickets are still available for the expo floor as well as those education sessions. Uh, and if you miss me in any education sessions, I will be doing a shop talk. Uh, as part of the ink kitchen on the expo floor. Um, I believe that's going to be the opening day. So Thursday at two o'clock. Check the schedule. Uh, that'll be coming out uh, very soon if it's not already on the Impressions Expo website. But go ahead and check that one and just make sure uh, that uh, that that we see each other. And then just come stop by and say hi. Like I mentioned, I love talking shop about uh, challenges and solutions uh, and the success that you have as a decorator. And in any way that I could help support you along that journey, I want to be there for it. But I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out today with me. I know we went a little bit longer than an hour, which we typically do. But uh, I want to get you guys the knowledge and I want to get... Uh, the questions answered and show you these solutions that you could take home back to your own business and start really crushing it, crushing the competition uh, and really helping your business stand out with your customers. And number one, doing the best you can for your customers, because when you really wow uh, your customers, they aren't even going to think about custom ink or real threat or any of these like national printers that spend tons of money advertising. They're always going to come to you. Right. So give them the best experience that you can. Give them the solutions that they are looking for uh, and you're going to do great uh, with your business. But we're here all the time to stay in touch. Info at transferexpress.com uh, is where you could email us any of those little ideas or tips, tricks, anything like that. Transferexpress.com uh, for all of those uh, needs. If you haven't already jumped in the Easy View Online Designer, go sign up for an account right now. Get in. It's free. All you have to do is sign up for a free account. We don't even ask you for a credit card, but make sure you put your right address and email address in there uh, because that's how we're going to send you that free welcome kit with all those transfers. You'd be surprised how many people just start an account and then we send out free transfers and they don't, they don't, they just get sent back to us because somebody made a fake address. Don't do it. Well, we want to give you the free transfers. We're not going to send you any junk mail. We're going to send you free transfers and 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 the pricing guide and the what to use when chart and all the stuff that's going to help you out as an apparel decorator along with the easy view, right? So it's all there, all easy to use. Come see us at a trade show soon. Uh, I'll be at those two coming up, the Fort Worth uh, Impressions Expo and Printing United in Atlanta, Georgia in October. Uh, so come see me at one of those shows. Come see the whole team at any of the shows. Um, we're always happy to, to, to talk and, and uh, help you guys out. Of course, if you haven't already, head over to our YouTube page. Subscribe there. On-demand education from this guy. That's me, Dave, all the time. And the rest of the Stalls and Transfer Express team, uh, we put videos out. Every single week built to help you out, inspire new uh, business and uh, really just help you help you as an apparel decorator. We have a one coming out soon, just like how much does it cost to print a T-shirt, which we covered a little bit here on the webinar today, as well as um, some cool ones on design coming out. Uh, we just put a top 10 heat printing mistakes that we've seen uh, people make and how to avoid them out, which has been doing really well and uh, super popular and the top eight things to look for in DTF transfers. So like there's tons, uh, tons of information all on demand, all on YouTube, all for free, right? We want your business to succeed and nickel and diming you on all of these little uh, little tidbits or making you pay for our webinars, not what we're about. We want you to save your money to dedicate to helping your customers out. So um, let's see, Renee just joined late. Yep, uh, this is going to go on uh, YouTube. You'll probably see it on YouTube in a week, but we will email out the replay to anybody who registered um, uh, probably by tomorrow. And that'll be with uh, accompanying the PDF slides and stuff that you saw here today. Uh, and then for the screen recordings, and I did a whole bunch of screen sharing and going into EasyView and designing, you'll be able to see those later. So 
Um, that is awesome. Scott, yeah, been in the business for just under a decade and every webinar I sit in, I learn something. Scott, that means so much. Thank you so much. I really want to provide value for both people starting out uh, and people who have been in the industry for a little while, just like you. Uh, I've had this, this wonderful liberty uh, of these experiences of working through a whole bunch of different print shops to see how different people have done it. I still visit a whole bunch of different print shops and I'm still blown away and wowed by the stuff. And I want to like, uh, I mean, sometimes they're little secrets, but I shot them from the rooftops to be able to help you guys out um, or I guess shout them from a screen in my office uh, <laughs> on a webinar. Thank you so much guys for hanging out until the next time. Uh, I'm Dave and happy pressing. We'll see you soon uh, and go out there, create awesome stuff. We'll see you.